Good morning. Welcome to the 182nd commencement exercises of Gettysburg College and a very special welcome to the class of 2017 and to their families and friends. You're allowed to, you're allowed to applaud. Today, families, faculty, staff, alumni, trustees, distinguished guests, and friends gather to celebrate you, class of 2017, and to reflect on the journey you've taken over the last few years. Four years ago, most of you sat in these very same seats at convocation, and some of you have reminded me of just how hot it was that, that day. During my convocation address, I referred to the remarks made by the 2013 student commencement speaker, Anthony Palmer. I'm guessing many of you don't remember that, but I uncovered those remarks as I was preparing for today. On that day, I shared with you Anthony's recollections of his first visit to campus, during which he and his family were given a personalized tour of Servo by Director of Dining Services, Gary Brodigan. Anthony said, Servo was closed, but that didn't stop Gary. He wouldn't let us leave without taking a tour of the kitchen. He showed us everything, how the dishes are washed, how the food is cooked, and how they plan a meal for the thousand or so students who come through their doors three times a day. He didn't let us leave without seeing the clean kitchen without seeing the passion and care that go into every meal served at Gettysburg. That was what sealed the deal for me in a process often characterized by numbers, SAT scores, and competition. One man with a big smile showed me that Gettysburg is about the human experience, about passion, people, and treating your work like art. Gettysburg is indeed about the human experience, about the people, the relationships you've made with one another and in the larger Gettysburg community, the mentoring you've received from faculty and staff, the groups you've formed, the friendships you've forged, some of which will last a lifetime. It's also about the mistakes we've all made in our interactions with one another as we try to understand and support one another better. Those mistakes are part of the human experience, too, and they can make us better people if we're willing to learn from them. Anthony noted that Gettysburg is also about passion, the passion that I've seen so many of you demonstrate on a stage or a playing field or in a laboratory or during a research presentation, the excitement you've developed about chemistry or history or psychology or about climate change, or social justice, or politics. And as Anthony said, Gettysburg is also about treating your work like art, plunging in and taking initiative, summoning your creative juices, being brave enough to try something new, taking the time for reflection, and working towards ever better outcomes. While you have all approached your art in different ways, you have all been artists who have completed your own liberal arts masterpiece. All of you have engaged with a series of courses spanning multiple disciplines, courses that have challenged you to think critically and to address complex issues. You've gained skills and confidence in articulating your ideas, and you've opened yourselves to new ways of living and thinking more than half of you through studying abroad. You've engaged in public service, competed on playing fields, participated in and led student organizations, performed on stage, presented your research here on campus and around the world, and helped our community to take steps towards becoming more inclusive. Members of the class of 2017, I'm proud of you. And I hope that you're proud of yourselves and your Gettysburg masterpiece. Earning a Gettysburg College degree is most certainly a cause for celebration. And yet in the midst of these joyous festivities, I know that some of you have mixed emotions. 
For many of you, there's a sense of excitement about what's ahead, a sense of anticipation of what comes next. For others, however, this day brings with it some real sadness. This weekend, you'll say goodbye to a place that's been your home for the last few years, to friends who've become family, and to faculty and staff who've guided and mentored you. As you consider that, perhaps now is the right moment to acknowledge those who supported you on this Gettysburg College journey. First, my faculty colleagues. At Gettysburg, we believe that the relationship between faculty member and student is at the heart of a liberal arts education. Your professors have had a profound impact on your lives. They've taught you, they've read your papers and graded your exams, they've mentored and challenged you, and they have inspired you. Faculty colleagues, would you please stand if you're able? Graduates, please join me in expressing your appreciation for your faculty. Next, I'd like to acknowledge our staff at Gettysburg College who do so much on a daily basis to support an exceptional residential college experience. These individuals have helped you find the right materials for your research. They've pushed you to be your best on the field or court. They've engaged you in discussion about social justice and leadership. They've maintained a beautiful campus on which you've worked and played. And they've prepared meals that have made you feel at home. Could I ask members of the college administration and support staff to stand if able? Graduates, please join me in thanking them. Next, some representatives of our Board of Trustees are with us today up here on the platform. These are individuals who give generously of their time, talents, and resources to ensure that Gettysburg can continue to provide students with a world-class liberal arts education. Trustees, would you please stand if you're able. Graduates and families, please join me in thanking our trustees for their leadership. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to acknowledge the families of the class of 2017. Graduates, your families have cheered you on, supported you, and believed in you, even at moments when you might not have believed in yourselves. Would our graduates' families please stand if they're able? And graduates, please join me in expressing your appreciation. And since they cannot be here with us today, I would like to call out one more group of people. Five of your classmates on our women's lacrosse team who are preparing for their 2.30 NCAA game here on our campus. <laughs> I love to hear that spirit. I know we wish them all the best, and I hope that many of you will head out to Clark Field after this ceremony to cheer them on. So class of 2017, it's a big day, a day of celebration and reflection, of hope and inspiration. Take it all in, the pomp and circumstance, the speeches, the reading of your classmates' names, and remember that all of us are here today for you, class of 2017, and we are very happy and proud to share this day with you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. So graduates, the custom at commencement is for you to move your tassels from the right side to the left signifying your new status as bachelor's degree holders. So members of the class of 2017, feel free to do that, and congratulations. <laughs> so 
now my great honor to deliver a charge to the class of 2017. I do know that many of you are ready for this event to conclude, so I promise I'll be brief. As I've talked with many of you during the spring semester, I've heard stories about how Gettysburg College has changed you, how it's helped you develop into a greater version of yourselves. But I want you to know that you too have changed Gettysburg. I have learned from you, as have our faculty and staff, and you have learned from one another. You've stepped forward to support those in need, and you've inspired members of our community to think differently, to do more, to have greater aspirations. And I thank you for that. So today, my charge to you is simple. Continue to act for the greater good. Take this education, this privilege you have, and use it to make a difference. As a nation, as a global society, we face some big challenges. And these challenges are in some cases compounded by gridlock and division. Class of 2017, I have faith that you are up to those challenges, that you will help us to understand our differences, that you will build bridges across those divisions, that you will think beyond yourselves, that you will create positive change in the world, and that you will inspire others to do the same. As you move into your future, let your actions be infused not only with the intellectual skills you have acquired, but also with humility, compassion, and integrity. In doing so, you will indeed do great work. Class of 2017, now, Gettysburg graduates, I wish you all the very, very best. Congratulations. <laughs>